In this video tutorial, I will teach you how to draw a bolt and nut in AutoCAD 3D. The first thing you will do is to switch the workspace from drafting and annotation into 3D modeling. Since I already switched it into 3D modeling, now let's get started. The first step is to draw a circle at a diameter of 9.70 units. Step 2, draw another circle at a diameter of 19 units. Step 3, draw a polygon at 6 sides, inscribing circle, specify radius of circle. Step 4, extrude the circle and the polygon at a height of 6 units. Step 5, chamfer the base surface at 1.5 and other surface at 2.0 units. Step 6, use 3D orbit command. Step 7, intersect the circle and the polygon. Step 8, use 3D orbit command. Step 9, change the UCS to Northwest Isometric. Step 10, from shaded, change the object visual style into 2D wireframe. Step 11, move the object at 6 units. Step 12, extrude the circle at a height of 39 units. Step 13, chamfer the base surface of the cylinder at a distance of 1.5 and the other surface at a distance of 1.5 units. Step 14, use the zoom command and specify the first corner and the opposite corner. Step 15, use the helix command and specify the base radius and the top radius at 4.86 units and the number of turns at 24 and the distance between turns at 1.5 units. Step 16, move the object at 3 units in height. Step 17, use zoom command and specify the first corner and the opposite corner. Step 18, use the polygon command, enter the number of sides at 3, specify the edge and the second endpoint of age at 1.49 units. Step 19, rotate the object using rotate 3D command at a rotation angle of 90 degrees. Step 20, rotate the object using rotate 3D command at a rotation angle of 90 degrees. Step 21, Rotate the object again using Rotate 3D command at a rotation angle of 180 degrees. Step 22. Copy the object and place it at the endpoint of the helix. Step 23, draw a circle at a diameter of 9.71 units. Step 24, move the circle at a height of 3 units. Step 25, move the triangle at a circle quadrant. Step 26, use the sweep command and select the path.
step 27, use the sweep command and select the sweep path. Step 8, change the 2D wireframe into shaded. Step 29, use subtract command, select object 1, enter, and select object 2 and 3, then enter. Step 30, use the 3D orbit command to visualize the object. Step 31, draw a circle at a diameter of 19 units. Step 32, draw a six-sides polygon. Specify the center of the polygon. Inscribe in circle and specify radius of circle. Step 33, draw a circle at a diameter of 9.7 units. Step 34, extrude the three objects at a height of 10 units. Step 35, chamfer the base surface at a distance of 1.5 units and the other surface at a distance of 2 units. Step 36, intersect the circle and the polygon. Step 37, subtract object 1 and 2. Step 38, use helix command, specify base radius and the top radius at 7.19 units and the number of turns at 8 and the distance between turns at 1.5 units. Step 39, chamfer the base surface and the other surface at 1.5 units. Step 40, use zoom command, specify the first corner and the opposite corner. Step 41, use three sides polygon at the edge of 1.49 units. Step 42, rotate the object at 90 degrees using the rotate 3D command. Step 43, move the triangle at the endpoint of the helix using move command. Step 44, use the sweep command and select the sweep path. Step 45, use a 3D orbit command to visualize the object. Step 46, move the knot at the center edge of the vault. Step 47, move the knot in the downward direction. Step 
use 3D Orbit command for the final step. Until here guys, thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe to my channel.